with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Uh, this is a really nice day. To me, I would say this would be one of my favorites where it's not too hot, but it's not all that cold. I mean, certainly T-shirt at 72 Cedar Cliff High School. Uh, we did have some track and field practice going on. We got a northwest breeze at 8, a dew point of 34, which is telling me that the air is dry. Um, that should lead to a really nice sunset for us looking across the Susquehanna River at 71. Uh, so we had a lot of rain, remember, the first week of May. And now it looks like we're moving into what is a return of the dry weather that we experienced in April, which we'll talk more about here in just a moment. As we have 70s, uh, Edders, Lebanon, Elliottsburg, and winds mainly light, five, maybe at times getting close to 10 miles an hour, but it's, it's almost perfect. If you kind of draw a circle from Sault Ste. Marie all the way to Boston, down towards Ocean City, Bowling Green, that would be the high pressure that we have in place. Yep, there it is. And as we show off towards the south, so we do have eastern Texas, an area of low pressure providing some uh, rainfall there. We've got Denver. Uh, there seem to, I should say, eastern Colorado that has some active weather. That's going to be the system that we're kind of watching. So there's some things kind of taking shape for Saturday. We've been saying this now for a little while, saying let's keep an eye on Saturday. So, and I, and I did say yesterday, I said by today, we would have a better idea of what's going on. So let's see if we can provide that for you too. So here's our precision cast, a gorgeous day tomorrow. Just like today, but instead of 72, 73, we're gonna go for 80 degrees. So it will be pleasantly warm, low humidity. We do see clouds increasing the second half of Friday. Uh, this is lunchtime Friday. There's some of the showers. What I'm beginning to notice is similar to the last two rounds or systems that we have, they seem to wanna to go towards the south. Now. Watch what happens. This one still wants to kind of brush by, though a lot of it's to our south. The timing of it, Saturday morning. So if we were able to see any rain from this, it seems like it's mainly in the morning hours Saturday. I know I'm talking a lot about Saturday, but there's really not a whole lot going on the next two days. So there is a very good chance we could actually get back to sunshine Saturday afternoon. And there might be a chance that this thing even stays a little farther south. So I still want to watch Saturday, but at least we're getting a little bit more of a picture of what we can expect to start off the weekend. For Mother's Day, just a little bit cooler. I'd like it to be a little warmer, but you know what? At least we're dry for Mother's Day mm. and for Mom, uh, yeah. mid-70s, moving into next week. That'll be a great day. You all ready mm -hmm. for Mother's Day? Wife, 